All right, Lisa Briggs is here from the Bruce Company taking your planting and garden questions. Hi, Lisa. 270-9933. What did you bring here? I brought a collection of begonias. Those are begonias? Oh, I love yes. the polka dot one. Yeah, this is a very fancy begonia. This one is called um, Escargot because it's got the we little We had that in the swirly. newsroom. I know, I love that you one. Le you left one for us. Uh, yeah, and then this is just, <laughs> I just love them. They have great um, foliage. And they flower? They do, but not as much as like the ones you're used to with those big, big juicy... Yeah bright colored flowers all right got lots of calls as usual we'll start with jane from madison hi jane what's your question hi thanks for taking my call my question is about my white nancy ground cover it's it was really healthy this spring it looked really good like it always does and now something is eating it mm. it's like all of the leaves are just gone and there's just all these stems sticking up um and i i although i have some rabbits and critters i don't think it's that there doesn't seem to be that many of them so what do you think is eating my white nancy i think if you have whole leaves gone with just stems it's got to be rabbits um especially if you look at those stems and they're nice clean cuts so you're going to want either a barrier or you can use um a scent barrier so i like to use uh, granulated predator urine. I like to say that as often as possible. <laughs> but uh, it's real. I was really successful with it last year, keeping the bunnies away from my hostess. So and give that a try. There are so many rabbits. I yeah, know they're, they're everywhere. They're, yeah, they're everywhere they're right now. They're a scourge. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, go, but a scourge. Let's go to Steve in Wanakee. Hi, Steve. What's your question? Yes, I have about 30 arborvitas, and they're about eight feet tall. And the foliage is so thick on them that even when it rains, they just droop right over. Do I need to prune them back or what? I wouldn't prune that. I wouldn't prune them back. Um, Arborvitae don't like heavy shearing. You could lightly shear them after the new growth starts to harden, so end of the month or into early July. But what you would do is make sure that they're getting well watered. Arborvitae are thirsty and it's been really dry today notwithstanding. So I do that and maybe throw some mulch on the root area to keep the uh, moisture in the soil. Okay, let's go to Sherry in Sun Prairie. Hi, what's your question? Hi, um, so I have a bunch of peonies and I wanted to transplant them. When can I transplant them? And also, can I do it up north where there's sandy soil? Sure. The best time to transplant peonies is at the end of the summer, so late September. Mm -hmm. And with sandy soil, I would just make sure that you throw in some organic matter, like some compost or something in there to help them out a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. And and then I had oh. another one. Go ahead. Um, yeah. We had a we have a magnolia tree in our front yard. Um, it's about seven eight years old, and it budded. It was full of buds. They dried up, and it never flowered at all this spring. Like literally dried up. I would check a couple things. I would check to see if there's any damage to the bark down low. Maybe an animal sort of girdled it and caused the tree. And if that's the case, that's not coming back. I would also check and see if you see any like bumpy warts on some of those stems. That would be a sign of magnolia scale. So check those things and see what you can find. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go to Roseanne in New Glarus. Hi, Roseanne. What's your question? Uh, thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. I love my plants, but I do have one problem with taking care of petunia baskets. Um, by later in the summer, they're very scraggly. Um, what's your advice on those? Feed them. <laughs> so, <laughs> petunia, feed me. Feed me. Petunias <laughs> like full sun and they're heavy feeders. So, by the time you get your baskets from the greenhouse, they're at the end of the fertilizer. So, you either use a water soluble that you spray on or a slow release right in the soil. That and will help. It'll help, but not by August, they get to be a little. Spring. Yeah, and prune them back. You can do that too. All right, Sarah in Madison. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I have a question on my magnolia tree. So it's a little different than the last color. My tree got the buds on it, the little felt things. Half of it bloomed, half of it didn't. Half of it's got green leaves, half of it is just now sprouting green leaves. Hmm. So <laughs> if it is just behind, if it is sprouting green leaves, that's great. Make sure that you don't let it get um, 
stressed out by the by any uh, dry weather so make sure it gets watered and then maybe look really closely at those slow stems and see if you see any signs of magnolia scale because you'll want to treat that how do you treat how, it? yeah how do you treat that how do you treat magnolia scale so the best time to do it is during the dormancy period you put on a dormant oil but you can use a systemic like bio advanced tree and shrub care okay. and that you pour right on the ground so super easy to deal with we are out of time lots of calls as usual thank you all for calling in thank you thanks lisa you. good to see you good to see you guys too